up that's what so if you are new to my channel welcome and thank you for joining me today if you are an oldie but goodie thank you for coming back I just want to shout out a couple channels because during this quarantine listen I have been so unmotivated so unfocused and not really knowing what content I want to put out. My mind has just been everywhere trying to decide what I want to do, especially with like working from home and having a small toddler to try to manage. It's, it's so difficult, but I just want to shout out to Teresa J. When I tell y'all she has been motivating me, she has been taking the baby outside, going to the park. They have been working out. Like she has been doing her thing. I also want to give a shout out to Miss Yo Yo. She has been doing her thing too. Um, but I just want to. So I forgot one last shout out, the real K Mo. She has been super, super supportive and uploading like crazy. So please check all of their channels out. They will definitely return the love. Know that it's on the title. I know you know what we're talking about. Money, dollar signs. So I have my calendar. I have February, even though we're in March, we're almost in April. I have my notes before me so we can discuss some things. So we're going to talk about where we are on our 10K challenge. So I called a lot of you out in that video and you left comments saying that you were going to join me in this 10K challenge. So y'all better comment below and let me know where y'all at with y'all numbers. So I'm going to put something on one of these sides of the 52 week challenge. So if you are new to my channel, I'll go run through it really quickly for you just in case you want to jump in right now with us so this is our quarterly update so three months we've been doing this challenge hopefully you guys have been fully committed if not i understand we're basically in a world crisis right now where people are out of work and don't really have the means to continue to save i get it i'm still able to save i thank god i give glory to him that i work in a different field where i'm still able to still receive income but so let's get right into it. So with the 52 week challenge is basically either you're paid weekly or you're paid bi-weekly, but you're putting money from each paycheck into either a savings account or some type of, some people use a box. I don't, I'm not good with money on hand, so I'll prefer to not see it. If I don't see it, I don't touch it. Um, but each paycheck, you put money to the side in hopes that by the end of the year, meaning 12 December, 2020, you'll have ten thousand dollars in your savings account my goal is actually twenty thousand dollars but i'm doing the 10k challenge with you guys so let's get right into this where am i on the 10k challenge hmm. how much money have i actually saved from january 1st until march today is march 20th today is march 30th so i've been paid from January to March, I've received all of my paychecks. So how much money have I saved? First, I'm going to tell you how much money you should have saved. So you should have saved $2,525 is what you should have saved. But what have I saved? What have I saved? So according to my calendar and what I've written down, plus what my bank account shows, I have actually saved So I have actually saved $2,500. So it looks like according to me staying on tra track, I'm actually $5 short. I think it's because in January I'm actually $25 short, but I'm actually not short. I'm going to tell you guys why. So when I received my tax refund recently, instead of spending it and splurging it on things that I thought I wanted, guess what I did? I put money in the savings account. So I'm not going to tell you guys and I'm going to block it out when I upload the amount of money that I've been saving so I can prove to you guys that I actually been saving. I didn't want to take the money out of the bank account. Um, I did a screenshot 
of my funds, I'm going to scratch it out. So I'm above the goal, but I'm not going to tell you guys just yet, only because people watch and, you know, I need them all in my funds and stuff like that. This is just to help someone like myself who really wants to save but has found it difficult. And so I'm also going to share with you guys how I managed to still save like even with all of this going on around the world, even with me wanting to dress up and still be cute and buy wigs like this one that I have on. I think I'm going to do a um, video of me wetting this hair soon just to show you guys how I get my wet look. But um, what I do is I pay tithes faithfully. I've told you guys that before in a video. I pay my tithes faithfully and I save my money. So what I do is I go through each of my bills and I've also put a video on, on here about that. Each month, I know what's due when it's due. I, I have a big calendar like this. Even though that's February, we're almost in April, but I have a big calendar and I write off. I even have a small calendar. I have a lot of calendars. So this is my goal calendar. So no numbers really go in here um, unless it's how many days I plan to travel. And this is my um, my budget calendar. This is actually my budget calendar. But I put it all down. I write it down and I figure out my numbers. I should always be able to save this amount because I save it each month with the same bills that I have each month. Do things come up? Yes, it do. Can you short yourself with saving? Of course you can, but find a way to put it back. Like for example, my birthday is in March. I got a lot of monetary gifts in March, so that was a that was able to help me save as well. If you have any questions, my email will be in the description box. Um, I wanted to leave you guys with a quote today. Um, I have two actually that I wrote down for you guys. So the first one said, fear is a reaction. Courage is a decision. So have courage to continue this journey despite of what's going on in the world and remember your number one goal and your reason of why you wanted to save 10k i hope you guys are saving 10k because it would possibly be well needed if you are in between paychecks because of this crisis here's the second quote perseverance is stubbornness with a purpose i'm very stubborn so this challenge listen it has been like a stickler for me but I'm sticking to it because I said I was going to do it and I want to prove to you by the end of the year that I not only have saved ten thousand dollars but twenty thousand dollars as well so I hope this video serves you well and you press that red button below and subscribe to my channel please don't forget to comment if you said you were going to do this challenge let me know in this comment box and like this video if you like it and give me some tips of how you're managing to save your money. And welcome to the dance floor.